Hello everyone, it's Ambassador for Christ, Erica Rogers, and today I want to talk to you about destiny thieves. What is destiny? Let's look at that word. So destiny is somewhere that you are destined to be, somewhere that you're supposed to be. It's a place in your life where God wants you to be. It's a plan for your life that God has made so that you can reach that destiny. Look that up. I want you to Google destiny. What's a thief? We know what a thief is. That's someone who takes something that doesn't belong to them. Someone who steals. Someone who breaks in. Someone who intrudes without your knowledge. So I just want you to know that you, we have destiny thieves all around us. It could be people right in your own family. It could be a friend, someone you call a friend. You know, they look at you and they see your potential. They see your potential in life. And... You know, they're thinking, you know, wow, this person has a lot of potential. I don't have as much courage. I don't have as much, you know, get up and go as this person. What can I do to stifle or to stop them from me to go into their destiny, the place where, you know, they want to be or the place where they are destined to be and they will come in and they will you know come on let's go out you know let's go hang out let's go do this let's go do that now i'm not against fun i love to go to to go out to the beach and and have fun and go to restaurants and god god knows i love a shopping trip like what girl don't want to go shop and get some red bottoms get you know just some nice things i love uh dinner dates i love play dates for my son but you have to also have a balance in your life you have to look at your schedule and the things that are important to you and the things that God has placed inside of you to be focused on to get to your destiny you have to block all others out sometime and, and, and spend time every day working towards that destiny see God has already finished everything for us there's nothing that um we need to finish we just have to put our hands to the plow we have to work our faith because the bible says that faith without works is dead jesus christ when he died on that cross he finished it all he is complete he is seated at the right hand of god i hope you believe that today because that's certainly what i believe today do not let someone come in your life and tell you what you cannot do you know don't listen to that you stop them in their tracks. When they're speaking against your destiny, you tell them, no, ma'am, no, sir. I will not have you. And I rebuke you from talking against my destiny. I'm not saying not to take godly instruction because it's good to have counsel and to have instruction. But the, the, the probably the most powerful thing that you can do is listening. That's why God gave you one mouth in two ears but I'm gonna tell you something the mouth is powerful so that's why you don't need two mouths because it's so words are very powerful I urge you to go back and look at my um, look at my series on the power of words part one and part two I urge you to do that guys but I just want to let you know stay away from these destiny thieves you got to stay away from them and you listen to what they're telling you sometimes we just have to listen and we have to internalize and we have to roll over in our mind what people are saying to us to really know if they really have our best interest at heart. And most of all, you have to pray. You have to pray. You have to ask God, Lord, show me who is for me and show me who is against me. Show me who is going to have my back and show me who's going to stab me in my back. God, I'm looking to you to show me. I'm looking to you to propel me. I, I receive my destiny, Father God. And you have to come against a destiny thief because they're all around us. Everywhere you look, there is a destiny thief, which is crazy because, you know, one time, you know, God told me, he said, jealousy is foolish. I said, God, I say what? I said, I ain't, I'm not a jealous person. He said, no. He said, but I just want to, uh, I want you to tell someone else for me that jealousy is foolish because if I can bless one, I can bless all. And I'm no respecter of person. So what does that mean? The Bible says that God is no respecter of person. What that means is this. If he did it for one person, he'll do it for you. You just have to get into your prayer closet. You have to get up early in the morning and seek God and see what he is saying to you, about you, and for you. I am telling you, you have to have your own personal, intimate relationship with the Father. You have to have it. And you can only have it through Jesus Christ. He is the gatekeeper. He is the one. He is the one who paid it all for us. And I'm here to tell somebody today. Don't worry about the destiny thief. You just continue to propel yourself. You continue to get up and go. You continue to do what you know to do that is right. And pray. Above all things, pray without ceasing. And you know what? 
I'll see you at your destiny. I'll meet you at that place. Until next time, this is Erica Rogers letting you know I bind right now every destiny thief in your life that come against your life that's been a sign for your life. I cancel the destiny thief in their plans at the root right now in Jesus' name. Somebody better receive that. Amen. Okay, you guys, I will see you next week right here on Transformation TV. And remember, I love you and you're blessed and I love you some more and there's nothing you can do about it. Have a blessed week.